The Photoshop Frame Tool lets you place and clip images into a rectangle, a circle, or a custom shape, path, or type layer. It creates placeholder frames for images, kind of like clipping masks and groups. So the best way to explain it is to just show you. If we select the tool here, um, if you look on the top, you either got squares or circles, right? If I click square and come click and drag on the image, it frames it out. This is what a frame is. And if you look in the layers panel, you'll also see the frame thumbnail. Everything that's gray is hidden and everything that's white is showing. Uh, and there's two things you can do. You can either move the frame itself, right? Or you can click on the inside and move the image inside the frame. So if we click the circle one, you can come up in here have a circle and same as the square you can move the frame itself you can move the image inside it you can resize the frame by clicking on it once and then dragging it like this you can click on the frame thumbnail here and then look in the properties panel okay and then you got all types of options you got width and height options you got X and Y options you can insert an image from your libraries your computer um, you can mess with the stroke you can turn on let's say a blue stroke or the pixel amount for the stroke you can set it to inside center or outside they got layer comp options if you want to apply a layer comp you can also edit the contents if it's a smart object you click it it opens up a whole new uh, document and you can edit what's inside the frame and last but not least you can convert it to a link smart object and then link it to a file on your computer now if I wanted to use one of my regular custom shapes I'd come over here click on the shapes panel find a custom shape click and drag it now the shapes in here we can move it center it how we want then you're gonna to go to layer new convert to frame name it click OK and then you have that frame alright so that about does it for the frame tool in Photoshop guys if you got any questions or comments make sure to put them in the comment section below Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.